Hey everybody, what's up? Well, today I wanted to talk to you about Nuxt and uh, Nuxt, or whatever you want to call it, and Bootstrap. So for that, I'm gonna be starting a new project right here in my terminal. As you can see, I have a completely empty folder and I'm gonna start working right there. I'm going to be using um, Nuxt 3 and Bootstrap 5, as you can see here, 5.2 is the latest one as the time of the recording of this video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, npx nuxi, uh, which is the CLI, you need to have it installed before, um, and then npx plus the uh, npm installer, and then the name of the app. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right, now I'm gonna do npm install. Okay, once that's finished, uh, what we need to do, we need to run this command. So I'm going to do npm run dev. So I'm going to click on this new, brand new Next3 application. So as you can see, uh, what we have here is the, the typical HTML of the app.view is where I am right now. So I'm gonna erase this. And I'm gonna put an H1 saying, hello world. So as you see, there's absolutely no styling on this. So I'm gonna add a script tag right here. And I'm gonna be, I won't be using the composition API. I'm just gonna be using the options API. Although you can use this with, with any of the two. All right, so if you, if you go to the documentation in next three, you'll find that in the Composition API, which is uh, what is mostly used in Vue 3, this is what you should do. However, there's an alternative for this if for some reason you don't feel that comfortable with uh, the Composition API. So what we do here is that we return a function called head. And this is going to return an object just like the data uh, method of the Composition API. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to type title and give this a title. This is the title of the site. That's a long, long title. So I'm going to come here and hit F5. And as you can see, this is the title of the site. So we are directly working with the head of our, of our site. So that's fine. The title requires um, string however the link element requires an array and this array takes is an object and here we're going to write all the attributes that we need for this for the bootstrap cdm to work we need a href and we're going to leave us blank we also need a rel as the relationship between this um this attribute here and the link what kind of link this is and also integrity, and I'm going to show you where I'm taking this from in a minute. And the cross origin. So where am I taking these from? Okay, so what we do is that if we check the if we check the CDN taken from Bootstrap. Just gonna copy this and I'm gonna break my own code, but it'll be fine in a minute. So we have this attribute here, which is href, and then we have a string. So I'm gonna copy this string, paste it here, do the same, do the same for the relationship, rel, and then integrity. I'm gonna copy all this. Bang and anonymous. Bang. So with this, it should be working already. So I'm gonna hit Control S, F5 on my browser, and there we have it. Um, the CSS integrated on our view app using Next3. So the typical example of JavaScript in action with Bootstrap is the navbar, in which we need uh, this and also 
the, um, the toggle button whenever the screen is small. So I'm going to copy and paste this in our template. It's a huge, huge chunk of code. So this should show us this, this nav bar that doesn't really work because we need to integrate the JavaScript for this. Now for this, we're not going to, uh, we're not, we're not be using the link uh, element. We're going to be using the source er element that also takes an array. And in here, we're going to put a an object. Sorry, this is script. My bad. Here is source XRC. So where are we going to be taking this from? Well, all right. So we're going to come back to the to Bootstrap and take this CDN from this, which is right over here. So this is the source. Copy, paste it right here. And then I'm going to choose this integrity and anonymous. Copy this in my script right here. So here comes the integrity part. I'm just going to move it up using alt. You probably know this trick, but still like that. And here hit enter comma I'm going to take the equal sign put a colon same here and the comma right over here okay I think we're good to go let's give it a try and there we have it so we integrated um, bootstrap 3 and next 3 together I'm sorry bootstrap 5.2 and next 3 together and uh, now we have this, um, this even the, the JavaScript is working. And if we do an inspect element or control U for that matter, uh, we see that everything is, is um, correct and initialized. And, and again, this is using the, the, the options API. But if you, if you Google, if you do a quick research on the composition API, which is what is recommended according to the documentation, you'll find that you have ex the exact same, almost the exact same notation. It's just the um, you need to use head here, and but the rest is pretty much the same. So yeah, that's how you that's how you integrate um, Bootstrap into Next three. I hope this helps, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.